And now, bedtime fishing with Bo. Hey everyone, Bo Angles here, and we are here for another uh, bedtime fishing with Bo. And uh, today we are at Quanchkin Lake. This is a fun place. Uh, for anyone just wanting to spend some time, catch some pretty big fish. We've got the alligator gar, we've got blue catfish, uh, channel catfish, flathead catfish. We're going to be ch uh, targeting all these species right here at this one location. If I show up on the map again, I'm sorry to be flashing this over, but it, here at the swampy open space, this is where we are going to be setting up our rod stand and just trying to target some of these fish. Um, I have a few markers out different locations just off these Spanish moss filled trees you'll see there is uh, some some moss that goes out and then there's some more moss that comes out here and right in between those two is a little indent and if you just cast towards that indent you're gonna find some good fish and that is what we're gonna cast to today so hit that like button I suppose uh, set your uh, oh god I don't even know what set your your sleep timer to 30 minutes or so and we'll see what we can catch everyone as we uh, enjoy Quanchkin Lake and the sound of the swamp and and uh, catch some fish all at the same time I have got a combination of bottom rods and float rods today. Figured we would just try both of them, see how they do. But I figured for a little bit we would target some of the catfish and then then we would also target the alligator gar at some point as well. See what we can catch. At night. I remember fishing quite a bit for the uh, catfish and whatnot during the day. But uh, fishing for them at night is a little bit different. A little bit of interest on the bobber there. It's kind of moving a little bit. Oh, and there we go. We got our first take on the bobber. 70 inches down. Because that's a big bobber. Bobber is bigger than the fish. Looks like a little cat, channel cat. Oh boy, we got other ones going. Little trophy channel cat, good deal. That's a good start. We got two running now. This is our first bottom rod to take off, but we also had a third, a second bottom rod. Oh god, all four rods going now. Might grab this one just to, just to whoa. Oh, we might have got something a little bigger than we uh. And we expect it on that one. Try to get this one in, and we'll try to get that third one. Oh, here's a flathead. Our first flathead catfish of the night. Good. There we go. Come on, grab it. Missed that fourth one, but we're still going to be able to keep this one. This one is putting up a little bit of a fight. Makes me wonder if we've got an alligator gar on this one. Oh, just a good sized flathead. Good deal. Look at that. Starting it off. First couple minutes in here at Quanchin Lake and already got our unique flathead for the night. 61 pounds. Not too bad at all, everybody. He nails happy about it. You'd be happy about it if you caught that sucker in real life. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing to be too upset about there. 61 pounds. I'd say we want to fix this rod. <clears throat> This is a place I have been wanting to go to for a long time. Look at Spanish moss. Eh. Challenge. Nice. 
Um, place I've been wanting to go to for a long time. And I'm sorry, I apologize. I have a little bit of a cold going on. So you might hear a little bit of sniffles every now and then. But otherwise, it's back. Can't be upset about that. We should get into some unique uh, flathead. Should get into some trophy blues, I hope. Um, wouldn't be surprised if we do hook into an alligator gar at some point. Though they don't necessarily like the frogs so much as they do like crawfish and cup bait. So we'll fish for these for a little bit. And if the bite slows down, then we might switch to uh, switch to a different bait. Give it a try. Both of them floats out there. Getting our bottom rods out there. There we go, all set. Ready for a take. Here we go, got some interest on this fourth rod. Hope everyone's doing okay out there, having a, a good day and a good night. Night's winding down. I'm getting tired myself. Just sitting out here at nighttime, doing a little bit of fishing. Probably good that I don't have a comfy chair sitting next to these rods because I definitely would be falling asleep right now. We are using 7-aught hooks right now. I've had luck with 5-aught hooks through 7-aught hooks uh, for catfish, but as, as you saw, didn't take too long to get a unique flathead. Using the 7-aught hooks, so definitely works. Got some more nibbles on those two bottom rods. Just waiting for them to take at this point. pretty quick I mean we threw them all out there and pretty much all four rods got a bite within the first like minute or two that they were out there so it makes you wonder if there's a bit of a recharge between uh, now and, and when you catch another one I suppose in the meantime if I wanted to mix things up I don't think we're gonna be able to cast out there that far is the problem What I'll do though to try is I'll throw a crawfish on this one. We're gonna try to toss it out as close to that marker as possible. It's not as far as we were hoping. I wanted to use these glow bobbers because I thought they'd be fun to use at nighttime, but unfortunately that also means they don't toss out very far. See if that gets any attention from a alligator gar, though. You know, I might also toss one of these out for an alligator gar. <laughs> oh, oh, there it goes. Boy, that was quick. Guy just took it. The alligator gar at Quanchkin Lake, I feel, are one of the biggest missed opportunities here 
feel like if you up to the XP and, and and money that you could get from the alligator gar and flathead catfish at Quanchkin Lake, it could really turn into one of those places people want to travel to. This isn't even an alligator gar, this is a good sized flathead. <sighs> a 29 pound flathead. Well, didn't expect that, did we? You're not an alligator gar. Well, to be quite honest, I wouldn't be fishing with crawfish if I was going for alligator gar in real life. So that is a little difference there. Throwing some large cub bait. <coughs> See if that does any better. Pretty slow over here. I debated taking a bass rod with me. See if we could get into some bass while we were fishing, but now there's a gar. Kinda has a silvery blue tannish body. Despite these rods being like, you know, good rods for like Maku Maku, Marone River or something like that, like the alligator gar is still putting up a decent fight. There we go, 37 pounder, not even that big. 37 pound alligator gar, small guy, but still fun catching a fish this size. Bigger than some of the flathead we've been catching. I think if the alligator gar are going to continue biting, I might switch locations. I'm going to move to over here. And I'm going to set this up. And then I I tend to cast tend to cast half my rods over into this little cove here. And I cast the other half out into the onto the middle. I didn't put uh, bait on for alligator gar on that other one. Let's throw a crawfish on this. Let's see how that does. Mixing it up. We already got a little bit of a niddle on that third rod. Oh. That's a take. Like the large cub bait, whatever it is. Small gar, it looks like. There we go. 36 pounder. Pretty small. But you never know. 
keep catching these little 36, 37 pounders, and then the next one he catches 100 something, and it's like, whoa, where, where did you come from? Makes it exciting, that's for sure. <sighs> Video is supposed to set you guys to sleep, but sending me to sleep too. We're getting nibbles on that large cup A1 again. For that huge cat bait again. A large cat bait. One's taking out some line. Doesn't seem to be any bigger than the last ones we took. Oh, the fourth rod's going off now, too. I grab the fourth rod, juggle a little bit. It's taking out some line too. Topping out every once in a while. Guys running right towards us. Get in the net there, bud. Nice 38 pounder. Grab this rock. The gar are biting, man. It's not getting into any big ones, unfortunately. 37 pound boy. All the ones we're catching are in that 37. Makes you wonder if we need to up our hook size. Wouldn't have thought so. Wouldn't have thought so. But consistently catching fish around that 36, 37 pound range. Starts to make you wonder. I think this one's the one with the frog on it. Switch that out. I'm going for large fish, you need large bait. Don't you know? All set now. Curious to see if that does better now that we switch that out.
go. Honestly, what I end up doing is just sitting there with my rods out, looking at my phone until something happens. <laughs> Though I will say, sometimes I will pull up a show on another screen, start watching a show. I think I said before that the first time I went through the Sturgeon grind, I think I went through the entire Breaking Bad series. Um, see if this guy's also in the 36, 37 pound range. Because if he is, that will be sad. But very telling. Oh, 74 pounds. Okay. So I, I knew, man, that that 7 odd hook would allow us to get some bigger fish. Just strange. All right. Oh, cool. A little bit bigger fish. 74 pounder. The gar in this game look great, don't they? Love all the scales and stuff on them. Pretty. All right, that guy. Getting into some slightly larger fish. That one had been sitting there for quite a while as well, so it's amazing. All of a sudden, just just decided to go. We are fishing during the peak time. It's slowly declining as the night goes on. Um, but you know, just making the most of it. Not trying to switch time or anything. Just enjoying Quanjkin Lake and then all that grandeur, I suppose. And just enjoying it for what it is. Lily pads and flowers and catfish and gar. What can you, what more can you ask for? I think I was a little surprised we didn't catch more catfish over at the other location. I think if the uh, alligator guard bite slows down here in the next 30 seconds or so, we might switch back to the other spot just to see if we can get more catfish. Got a good number of gar, good number of catfish. Just really would have thought we caught more catfish. Oh, there we go. A little bit of patience paid off. Could be a decent sized one. Oh, we missed a strike on the other one. Didn't even see it with it over here. Yeah, this seems like a pretty decent sized one. 
Definitely pulling out a line a decent amount. This is not the worst thing that we lost that one. Golly, man. Yeah, seriously. Coming up out of the water. People always ask me, what's my favorite fish I've ever caught? I've been to... And golly. One, two, three, four different continents fishing. Alligator Gar is my favorite one. Look at that 71 pound trophy. Man, I really thought he'd be bigger than that. This is what I mean though. 71 pound trophy, only 494 XP. $3,000. Just doesn't match up. Needs to be better than that. Cool fish, though. Really cool fish. Alright, I think... I don't know. Bottom rods seem to be doing okay. We're still catching fish on the bottom rods. Did I just chuck one over to where the catfish might be? I don't know. I do the majority of my fishing over in this section. I know that there's like walkways and everything over there. And I've spent very little time over there, honestly. There might be some really good locations to fish over there, and I really just haven't haven't given it the amount of time I probably should. I also need to adjust for uh, frogs. Putting. Try some duck muscle meat. Maybe the duck muscle meat will do good. I remember my first trip out to Quanchin Lake and uh, tossing out for catfish. And getting bites. From alligator gar and watching them swim over there and then they eventually kept swimming and broke my line off <laughs> classic alligator gar move Trap set. Let's see what we can get into. Anything. Fingers crossed, I guess. It just moved from this location to the other, so. What can you do? Oh, we're getting bites. Can't tell if he's got it or not. If he does, it's pretty small. It does happen. Okay. Oh, we got one on the other rod too. The bobber going away there. Cool. Got some action going on. Oh, this one's putting up a little bit of a fight. All right, I see you. Oh boy. They like the duck muscle meat. That's good. Here's another flathead. Trophy, 50 pound flathead too. <coughs> Top notch. Just about to switch over to it, too. Another flathead. Flatheads are biting like crazy. Wow, new personal record flathead. You all saw it first here at 68 pounds. Nice, 1,364 XP. 
Well, that is a new personal best for me. You all were here to experience it with me. This was awesome. Well, cool. I'll keep that guy. On the duck muscle meat, man. That was wild. Wasn't what I would have would have thought they would go for, but you know what? It worked. We got them. And the other rod that was going off was also duck muscle meat, so... What can you say? Hopefully things are winding down now, falling asleep, things are getting nice and calm, had a long day, had a short day, had a good day, had a bad day, whatever it may be, heading to bed now, sleep is the most important thing in your life, always get enough sleep. Some nibbles. Got some nibbles. And some nibbles on that fourth rod. Light every so often. Well, I feel like the bites have stopped over here. Not getting anything. Might take one rod. Oh, now now it's trying to prove me wrong. It's saying no, you should have been more patient. See, I got a bite right here for you. I toss this over here. Oh, I have a fish on there. Not very big, though. 
Not very big though. I kind of expected to get a unique channel cat out of this night, but I haven't seen one yet. It would be nice to be proven wrong though. Hopefully we can get this guy in and get that other rod. One of these is a unique channel. Not another flathead. Trophy flathead, goodness gracious. See that ginormous bobber in the bottom. There we go, another flathead. There we go, another 30 pound flathead. Well, I tell you what, I hope that uh, if you set your timer right, you're, you're asleep by this point and you enjoyed our little trek here at Quanchkin Lake. Know that I did. I always love coming out here and catching some catfish and some alligator gar. I just wish that we would get more from them. Ah, uh, just got got ripped off there. Had a bite and then we only got snags. Anywho, hope you all enjoy this. If you're still awake, yes, hit that like, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll see you in the next video. Everyone, take care. Good night, and uh. See you during our live streams, if not. Anyway, catch you next time, everyone. And as always, remember.